How in the hell do these Neptunia related news stories manage to constantly sneak their way under my radar? Anyway, the upcoming Neptunia title for PS4 and PS5 releasing on the 21st of April, Hyperdimension Neptunia Sisters vs Sisters, has a couple of new characters appearing within its digital folds, three of which are apparently completely new and original, while an additional two characters are sort of crossover types. The three new original characters are Maho, Anri, no, not that Andre. There we go. And Grey Sister, whose name leads me to believe she's an absolute bundle of joy and cheer. Maho is a huge fan of phones and surveillance devices, according to the Silicon Era article I'll link in the description. Andre seems to be the real mature level-headed one of the three new original characters. The Silicon Era article mentions she, quote, evacuated the PC continent after a massive incident occurred, end quote. And thirdly, Grey Sister, a CPU who knocked Napgear out for two straight years and is a puzzle wrapped in several layers of mystery. And now, as I rub my hands together vigorously in anticipation, onto the two crossover girls. First up, the embodiment of everybody's favorite family-friendly sound slash digital novel and anime series, Higurashi When They Cry. It's this character. Uh, I had my suspicions, but the Silicon Era article confirms them. It's none other than Reina Ryugu, the queen of Omochikairi. She looks a bit different here from how I remember her. I guess she's more stylized, I guess, if I had to describe it. The Silicon Era article mentions she is, quote, always on the lookout for cute or distinctive statues or sculptures, end quote. And I'm assuming people as well. Crossover character number two is another personification of something, this time being Team Shanghai Alice. You may know them from creating the Toho games. I say them, but I'm fairly certain there's only one actual member of Team Shanghai Alice, unless they've expanded and moved on up. So, what's Shanghai Alice Chan's deal? Uh, not much. <laughs> not much, actually. Even the Silicon Era article's description doesn't exactly paint her as particularly interesting. It says she is, quote, a fairly uncomplicated character who works to make money after her journey was disrupted, end quote. Well, Jesus, ain't that exciting. So she's basically every human ever? Just substitute her interrupted journey with reaching adulthood and struggling to make ends meet? I like it. Before I end the video, there are two new in-game features added to the site's system section. Heartful Photo Mode looks like some sort of in-game photo mode slash diorama dealie. Surprise, surprise. We got the camera adjustment menu there on the side. I'm assuming for all of your unnecessarily close angles. Finally, here's a few shots of the new SNS or messaging system. Pretty nifty, eh? I mean, we all knew what it'd be in, but still, it doesn't look too shabby. Doesn't look too shabby. And that's all I got for now on Hyperdimension Neptunia Sisters vs. Sisters. Are you excited? Has the marketing and info released so far piqued your interest? I know for me it sure as hell has. And come April, I'll probably buy it. Probably. Maybe. Maybe, maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll wait for a sale. I don't know. We'll see. And until next time, I got some fried chicken to maul. With my face.